In this video, we're covering role-based pricing. This new and exciting feature allows you to create pricing breaks for your items and associate them to special roles within Liftoff. Let's begin. Our first step will be to ensure that our roles are already set up within our Liftoff account. In this particular example, we have two groups, the Atlanta Buyers Group and our Chicago Buyers Group. Now that we've determined we have roles set up, let's visit the Product Pricing tab to implement custom pricing for these roles. we we'll select our t-shirt for this example. Note that when we first arrive on this page, the role assignment is set to default. This is what all users will see unless they are assigned to a specific group that has already been designated with special pricing. To set up our groups, let's do a simple copy and paste procedure so that we can assign roles and then set up new pricing breaks for these roles. We'll also set up a new pricing break so that you can see that these roles may also inherit not just pricing changes, but additional breaks or reduced breaks if necessary. We'll add 50 for this example. Now let's save our changes. And now we'll take a look at what the user facing end of the site looks like. Note that we have our three breaks that are part of the default configuration for this item. Now let's log in and see if it makes a difference. Note that we now have four breaks specific to this product. Let's go back to our pricing tab. Let's change our pricing. We'll make our pricing cheaper since these are special buying group users. We'll set our per first price point to $5 and increment downward for the others, indicating discounts for this particular group. And we'll save our changes. All right, note that we have cheaper pricing based on the role that we just assigned to this user with special pricing. If we wish, we could also go more granular in detail and assign SKU-specific pricing in addition to role-specific pricing. This allows for ultimate granularity when dealing with pricing. And that's it for today's tutorial. Thank you for watching.